Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Fall of the Republic 0.7 preview playthrough as the Confederacy of Independent Systems. In the last episode, we had a pretty big battle defending uh, Centaurus here. We killed Yoda. Uh, today, I would like to continue focusing on expanding in the south, defending in the north. Uh, so this will mostly be expanding infrastructure up here. And in the south, we're going to take these these guys, and we are going to move them over to Preisitlin. And you guys are going to come over to Ryloth. But for those watching on YouTube, this is being live streamed during its recording on Twitch. So if you are interested in watching the episodes as they get recorded, that's a thing. If you're watching on Twitch and you don't know there's a YouTube channel, uh, it's called the same thing on both platforms, so Corey loses. But, uh, yeah. So I'd like, if we can take Presetlin and Araidu, that would be incredibly helpful. And if we can get the Subjugator uh, as well, that'll be one more week worth of credits, and I think that that's worth that's worth doing. What is our relationship with that? I think it's like 675... 80? 75. I think it's higher when you start in later eras. Because we've only done the one mission. Mimban, good for you. All right, let's start moving in. This could be a huge mistake if there's like a ton of shit there. Huh, that... That's something. No one... Uh, is this... Uh, no, th there's no way this is intentional. Oh, it's... Uh, what? I guess... <laughs> okay, Techno Union was taking over Preisitlin. You know what? Fuck them. We're the Alpha CIS. Holy Diver. Regular Providence. Maticus. Yeah, so the Techno Union was trying to take over Presetlin when we came here. Okay, you know what? You know what's good for you, Techno Union. <laughs> gonna send their ground units as well. Uh, I do want some more. I think this would be helpful to have down here. Roger, Roger. Have you seen the new G series? Uh, if anyone's seen the old Republic at War playthrough, I did the Rampager or played Republic at War. Yeah, so as I was intending to mention with the fact that we are recording on Twitch, uh, I'm going to be trying to answer some questions as we go through the episode. Other than that, it's fairly normal stuff. I'm apparently the milkshake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, it does. How are we doing this? Oh, was that the fry? I think it was the milkshake. I... I've never really watched the show, so I can't... I can't be sure what it actually was. Okay, Ventress, I'm not even doing anything. Don't be mean. It's the meatball? Okay. Mm 
DJ Perks wants to know, when's the next Thrones Revenge stream? Uh, that'll probably be Monday or Tuesday. Uh, usually I try to... Ideally what I'm thinking for these streams is that I'll do uh, Monday and Tuesday recording sessions for... Uh, for the ongoing series. Uh, Jesus, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Oh, we've actually got repair here. We're good. Get out of there. But yeah, so usually I'm going to be recording on Mondays and Tuesdays, just I didn't have uh, a chance this Monday and Tuesday for this playthrough. We were still getting the first episode or two out. Uh, so that's kind of the plan for next week. And sometimes I'm going to record more than a week's worth in a single stream. That might be the case here, because we're going to do more than two. Get, get repaired! Get repaired! Get repaired! Okay. Never mind. Alright, we need to bring these guys up more. Get the IFTX. How is Tiber the Frog coming along? Uh, it's been a few days since I've done anything on it. I'm not really rushing to get that out. It's more of a passion project than, uh, something that I'm really prioritizing. The way I prioritize certain work is also, uh, something I've been thinking about a fair bit lately. Um... It's like I don't, I don't do as much with Datapad as I'd both like to and uh, should be. Where what I kind of need to start doing every week is focus on making sure I get uh, three, generally three Datapad videos done on average. Just tap calf on top of that. Uh, then loses stuff, then modding stuff. Uh, Also, like, your life stuff in X2 on top of that, but... Because, like, for the last little while this year, I've usually been doing only one, maybe two on a good week datapad videos. And it, I really do want it to be a thing where it's, uh, averaging at three, sometimes four videos. Because that also tends to be the thing where there's the most potential for growth, and it also feeds into, like, people coming to loses. But... but I usually try to avoid talking about the that kind of element of everything on the channel. Thank you, Moose Squad, for the sub. Double Decker ISD. I mean... The Sith Interdictor is kind of like a Double Decker ISD. It's not really an ISD, but it is somewhat Double Decker and an SD. So people will have to just settle for Revan's Revenge. Alright. We've got Presetlin. Bombardment. Alright. There we go. There we go, there, bud. Now, Arido, there, bud. Let's turn Araya do into an Araya don't. Oh shit. Looks like it is Naraya, don't. Oh yeah, I think it's one of the ones that gets the defense force. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for the 500 bits. Doing the Lord's work. I am, in fact, doing my work. Thank you. Um... Is 
Is this something we want? I think we want this. Uh, do we want this? Okay, well, Shadow of Hyrule, you want this. You want this, don't you? Um, investor, holy diver, Maticus, regular Providence, Ketsia, Kezia, SCF Mega Road 2. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Battle Galaxy, Let's go Santis, and some Magnificence. Gurgle, gurgle. I will send one of my Republic bombers detected. This is the story of a world. How to defense fleet. Uh, no, that song parry doesn't work. They don't. They can't all work, you know. I do so many of them. I'm not weird Al. I. I can't just. It can't all be gold. Not gonna lie, maybe over-indexing on how good uh, the Luger Hawks are. To be fair, is pretty good. But is she good enough there, bud? Alright, better buck. Uh vultures, can we uh, can we do something about these bombers, please? I'll just pop on over there and uh Okay, now these bombers are being a little bit threatened. Hey, you can't blow up my Lucre Hulk. They're expensive and I paid nothing for this one. And you killed my engines, you piece of shit. Okay, the three vendors. Are these PDFs? No, these are regular. These are PDFs. No. Garrisons. I think. Can we please destroy this one? Yes. Excellent. Epic. And this one? Alright, our complete lack of any damage onto any of the vendors is... not exactly what we're looking for. But, you know... I can at least feel good about how many acclimators we're destroying. Thank you, Three Coal, for the bits. I will use those to fund the building of a new fleet to replace this one. All right, you know what? You need to dive, editor. You still got a lot of hard points left. Okay, 
It's not over till the stormtrooper tells you to use more tactics. These vultures can get back into the fight. So there's no more Y wings. Well, there's still some Y wings. Come on, it's not that far away. You can still kill it. Two hard points. Come on, one more hard point. All right, another Venator. Nope, I don't want the Colvex. I do want the Colvex, I just don't want to command it. Right now. I do want to command it, I just don't want to command it right now. Alright, hold on maneuver. There. There's the hold on maneuver. Local man absolutely demolishes the public fleet. So you can call it cheap all you want, but it takes no one exactly what the game's going to want to do with that. This is a really difficult one to do. I don't know if it actually even works. All right. Uh, and I do. Or solace, 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 solace. Uh, we want. Rots doesn't rot. Daddy X Pride. We're gonna get uh, Hydra in a second. Do we have the. No. There they are. Call this a droid? That's a droid. All right, Dooku, I need you to go on a uh, on a milk run. A classic support base rush. Ventress. Mm, artillery's kind of slow. Let's not get it there. I don't know if she's actually going to be able to. She's usually not able to get there directly. Let's go with them. How is Cory making 10k a week? I mean, that's kind of around where the game maxes out per week right now. I have all the economic structures I can really get. That's kind of kind of mean. Can you fucking shoot that guy? Thank you. There's nothing here that Ventress can't do. Or can't kill. Like in Fall of the Republic especially, you start with so many planets that it's... Can, can you... Can you guys please... No! We lost their actual repair droid! Jedi 
Uh, actually, I don't think Ventress can kill these. Okay, Ventress definitely can't kill all those. So let's just sit here. Uh, Magnus, ATs, artillery. That's kind of mean. All right, amble your way down there. Saunter even if you must. You know what? We don't need you. You're. All right. Uh, what do we want to bomb? Oh my god, let's bomb that. Here's Dooku as well, with a much bigger icon thing. Still orange, but much bigger. But really, it's not the size of your icon that matters. It's the RGB value. More like Count Dooku of Surrender. Got him. Fucking got him. You blow them up. So since the Clone Wars is both Legends and Canners, this means the Bad Batch is coming in the future. Uh, so I didn't really like the Bad Batch. I'd rather do like any of the Republic Commando squads over the Bad Batch. Or any like Arc Trooper squad over the Bad Batch. Ah, don't blow up. Stop blowing up, you cowards! Okay, you guys... Alright, they can just keep going from the front. Ah, blow it up. Okay. Okay, now you should be safe to go. Welcome, Cordy. Glad you can make it. All right. Did something? No, something important didn't blow up for us. Honestly, this is a map that probably needs some significant edits to stay in the mod. It's just, it is so long to get anywhere. Kind of emphasizes the worst parts of ground combat. from back in the day when we tried to make maps as big as possible. Yeah, like if you started here, it would be much better. Like it's visually kind of cool, especially this bridge, but... No one ever really even looks at that. <laughs> Alright, 
I'm gonna go for another support base. You tell Charlie if you press C, you get lovely screenshot mode. So I actually prefer just pressing I and moving the camera manually. It does mean that you still get the fighter models, but when you press C, uh, you can see the highlight, the unit gets highlighted when you're going over it, and that stays. It's kind of annoying. It's usually more obvious in space than ground, but it is annoying. What do we need to destroy? And I missed. Ariad asks, are you using any mods? Yes, this is Fall the Republic 0.7 preview. None of this is base game. Thanks, Cordy. Appreciate it. It's just a bunch of... What's the fastest stuff we can get? Destroyed it, because we're just hunting down infantry at this point. I don't know why I'm bringing the artillery around everywhere with us. Alright, let's blow them through there. Oh, that's an anti-vehicle turret. Those are civilians. They might even just retreat once this is dead. We've secured a landing zone. Those are clones. Clones die. Do we have any clones up here? Uh, we have the ATRT. You're a clone. You're an executed clone. What else do we really have to kill? I guess the turrets are fine. Where's the victory relevant stuff though? Is it just the ATRT? No, don't move. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I think it's just that ATRT. Here we go. Whatever happened. All right, there's a Raidu and Wustri. I think is the next uh, next target down here. But let's get you. Wustri, and then we can just sort of def defend the edges. We'll go from Wustri to Naboo, Kalarba, Kularin. And that's going to be... Because we want to kind of go all the way this way. Ah, oh, shit. It's Tarkin. Better get Tarkin. Lazy to make a username wants to know what's the best sub faction to absorb in your opinion. I think it kind of depends on the era. Like the Techno Union gives you a lot of good territory, but when you're in later eras like this, 
Uh, if you don't start an era two, then it's not as worth it. Uh, whereas the Commerce Guild gives you a lot of territory, a lot of good planets. Uh, you get the two better ship designs. So I think it's probably always the Commerce Guild, but beyond that, it can vary. So we've got Dallin here, we've got Tarkin, we've got Yularn, we've got Pelion. Let's bring in Shadow of Hyrule. How treacherous. Hydra Dominatus. Captor. Is this one named? No. Let's see. They are coming at us. Some of them, at least. We were probably just close enough for some of them to respond, but not others. Which is good for us, not good for them. We've kind of got to make that AI behavior daisy chain if we can. So rather than... Uh, oh, and there's Shadow Squadron. So this is one of the new heroes coming. Uh, Shadow Squadron. It's tied currently to Yolaren. Uh So there will be a few heroes, hero squadrons like that, that come out of a few places, but... Obviously right now Shadow Squadron isn't showing up in the top right, or top left, but... That will have to be fixed. So the Acclimators are starting to come forward as well. Uh, well, thanks for visiting, Venators. I'm going to move forward a little bit and see if we can get into the response range for Yalarin. Hydra, go for that. The bombers on there. I mean, I guess we can. We can probably deal with them directly. We don't need to worry about it now that we've killed, or we will have killed those two, and then that set of Achimators that are coming. I'm just kind of concerned that they're going to retreat. Well, hyenas go down there. You guys go forward. You go forward. Munificence, I'm going to send you straight at the Arcatans, actually. Stop there. Uh, let's use full salvo. Pelta, it's recusant. Start sniping away at them. I almost know. I've always wondered how you got the path. So there's a uh, there's a single line in game constants. Uh, I, I think it's like display predicted path, something like that. But it's just one line you set from false to true, and it shows that. I think we have it pinned in the uh, in one of the Discord chats as well. There we go. Thanks, Rico. Should display predicted path prediction paths. Move you back. Have control of 
All right. Can you please get out of there? I think it's very likely that they actually retreat. Will Fall of the Republic be more hero-centric than Thrones Revenge? I don't think so. Like, there's more heroes that tend to show up in Thrones Revenge, and, like, there's smaller fleets, uh, because individual, like, there's more individually powerful units, um, whereas Fall of the Republic tends to have bigger fleets. So, ground combat's more hero-centric because of the Jedi, I'd say. But the the fact that heroes just proportionally make up a bigger percentage of your power, especially with like SSD heroes, I think that tends to make TR a bit more hero centric. That Arcotens has been living for a while. Oh, they've decided they just want to go back to the station. Alright, there's the Quasar, or er, Carrick. Uh, Alexander wants to know, how do you feel about audiobooks of Star Wars books? I usually don't use them. Uh, Eck actually uses them a lot for Tapcalf. Like, he'll read it, but he'll also listen to the audiobooks. A lot are abridged in a really weird way, uh, which I usually like to avoid, but I just prefer actually reading over audiobooks as I end up... I have enough other podcasts that I want to listen to. But... Like, some are full, unabridged, which I prefer... Some are abridged well, some are abridged poorly. Uh, if you're looking to get through a lot quickly, then abridged is probably the fact that they're abridged is probably good. Yeah, they're retreating. So no actual hero deaths. All right, I think that is going to do it for today. Uh, so next time we are going to go for Wustri on the ground. We'll try to take Naboo, Christophsis, Kalarba, Kilarin, uh, maybe Rhodia. Like this is the direction we're going to be going in at least. So uh, yeah, so thanks for watching everyone on Twitch and YouTube. And hope to see you next time. We will be doing a stream on either Monday or Tuesday to record more uh, TR as well as Fall of the Republic. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is have these episodes that we recorded tonight go up on Friday and Monday. And on Sunday, we'll do a Knights of the Old Republic 2 stream because uh, I do want to get back into that. But uh, yeah, the Subjugator is close to being built. It's 50%. So we'll be using that next time as well. Uh, or probably more when we're focusing... Uh, this direction. We could also take Rishi and send it into action a bit sooner. But thanks again for watching, everyone, and see you soon.